Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making healthy chicken and potato soup. Now you can make this in your Instant Pot or your slow cooker, and I'm gonna show you how to do both. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. And I love sharing with you my recipes that I make, especially the ones that are a little bit healthier that will help you make better choices throughout your week. Now I've had so many requests for Instant Pot recipes that I decided to make my meal prep Monday into an Instant Pot recipe day that I'll show you how to do it either in the slow cooker or the Instant Pot. Now, before I get started, if you haven't done so, be sure to subscribe to our channel and of course, push that little bell so you can get all the notifications. All right guys, let's go make this chicken and potato soup. All right, so I'm gonna start out with my Instant Pot, but you can do the same exact recipe in your slow cooker. So I have three large potatoes here that I'm chopping up. I'm keeping the skin on because it's one less step for me to do. Next, I'm gonna take three chicken breasts. Now, these ones are frozen, so I'm gonna show you how to do frozen chicken breasts in the Instant Pot. So I always be sure my chicken is on the bottom of my Instant Pot. Now I'm gonna add my vegetables on top. So I'm just gonna pour in my potatoes. Next, I'm just gonna take a small bag of baby carrots, open it up, and dump them in. So I love onion when I'm making a healthy soup. So I'm going to chop up my onion, not in the tiniest pieces, I kinda like bigger chunks. So once I chop them up, then I'll just throw it right on top of the carrots. So for my seasonings, I added a half teaspoon of garlic salt and a half teaspoon of rosemary. So now it's time for the broth. You're gonna add eight cups of chicken broth. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but it's actually just enough to cover the vegetables. So if you're making this in your Instant Pot, go ahead and just put it right inside. If you're making it in your slow cooker, same thing. Take your pot, put it right inside of your slow cooker. So back to the Instant Pot, I put the lid on and I'm making sure that it is going to be on sealing, not venting, you want it on sealing. Then you're gonna push your meat or stew button and go up to 25 minutes in your Instant Pot. If you're in the slow cooker, you wanna do it for six to eight hours on low. So I let the pressure release on its own. So instead of bumping it over to venting, I let it sit there for about 20 minutes while the pressure went down and then I can open the lid. So now I'm just finding the chicken, which I was gonna pull it out and put it on that plate, but it just is so soft, it just keeps shredding. So I'm actually gonna shred it right inside of my Instant Pot pot. Now this recipe is perfect for meal prep because it makes a lot. So now before I serve my family or myself, I'm going to grab these awesome meal prep containers, fill it full of about two scoops of my soup, and then put it in my refrigerator for later so I can have a healthy recipe throughout the week. Now if you're just making this for one or two of you, the great thing is you can put it in a Ziploc bag and then freeze it so you can have it whenever you want another healthy meal. But for now, I'm just gonna scoop myself some up right now and eat it for lunch. Now, I love to put some cheddar cheese on top so my kids will actually eat it, and a little bit of parsley to give it a little more flavor. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you wanna see more Instant Pot recipes, be sure to comment below, give me a big thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to our channel to see more of my Instant Pot recipes. All right, guys, hope you have a good day. See you later.